Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a compound inequality with or. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. A compound inequality with or really has two statements. We have one inequality, and we have another one, and there's a separation of or, hence the name. Our problem here we're going to solve is solve 5 minus 3x is less than or equal to negative 1, or 8 plus 2x is less than or equal to 5. Graph the solution and write the solution in interval notation. So first I'm going to start with my first inequality. 5 minus 3x is less than or equal to negative 1. And we're going to solve this inequality. I'm going to subtract a 5 to both sides here. Not too bad. The 5's cancel on the left. I have negative 3x here is less than or equal to negative 1 minus 5 is a negative 6. From there, I want to divide by a negative 3 to both sides, opposite of that multiplication. Negative 3's cancel here, we have an x. Notice I'm dividing over an inequality by a negative number. That means this inequality sign flips from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to. Don't forget that. Then negative 6 divided by a negative 3 is a positive 2. Two negatives make a positive here. So now we're doing the same thing with the second inequality. I'll put the or here so don't forget it. 8 plus 2x is less than or equal to 5. Well, I have an 8 here. I'm adding it, so the opposite of that is subtracting. Minus 8 to both sides. 8 cancel on the left. We have a 2x here as less than or equal to. And 5 minus an 8 is a negative 3. We divide both sides by 2 here. 2's cancel on the left. X is by itself. I'll put it here. It is less than or equal to. And negative 3 over 2 is just negative 3 halves. So let's go graph this. We want to graph the or here. So we have a range from negative 3 halves to 2 in our number line here. So let's go make this O. Let's start at negative 3. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's we'll start with the first one here. X is greater than or equal to 2. Since it's equal to 2, we have a closed circle there at 2. And since X is greater than 2, we put an arrow to the right, where it's greater. Here we have x is less than or equal to negative 3 halves. Negative 3 halves is negative 1 and a half here, right here, negative 3 halves. Again, we have a closed circle there because we can equal that value, but it says x is less than than negative 3 halves, so the arrow goes to the left. And this is where the or statement really comes in. x has two rules really applied to it. x can be greater than or equal to 2, or x can be less than or equal to negative 3 halves. And that's why we need to have both parts here. This graph shows what x can be. Now interval notation here gets a little tricky. x can be a negative infinity, so we have a parenthesis, negative infinity here, all the way up to a negative 3 halves. It can equal 3 halves, so we put a bracket. This union shows us that it has an option, or we have x can equal, right? equal to 2, so we bracket there, and it goes all the way up to, well, positive infinity. And we have parentheses. That union there tells us it can be this one or this one. And there we have it. We have our interval notation in our graph for our or inequalities here. If this video is helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, Thanks for watching.